Anthony Cortez he is the ARUP visualization leader for the Americas region. Thank you, guys. Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks to uh, Ori and the rest of the uh, Augmented World Expo Committee for uh, inviting me to speak tonight. Today, um, I'd like to. Uh, here's here's me over here. Here's my contact info. Um, I'm here to talk to you about my company and how we do how we use. Um, interactive and augmented reality uh, tools uh, in our projects. Um, are you familiar with, my, with our company, Arup? Um, we're a global engineering firm. We, uh, we're a multidisciplinary engineering firm. We specialize in all different kinds of um, engineering from uh, structural to civil to uh, um, lighting, design to acoustic. Um, we do, we study how people move through spaces. Um, we work on projects. Uh, one of our biggest projects were the, 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 the Beijing Olympic Stadium, both the bird's eye, I mean the bird's nest stadium and the water cube. Um, we also worked on a bunch of stuff on the London Olympic Village um, and Locally, over here in San Francisco, we're working on the Trans Bay Transit Center project and um, California High Speed Rail. So we work on a lot of um, different kinds of uh, transport, bridges, um, subways, subway projects. Uh, here's a, a quick show reel I'd like to show you uh, some of the projects that we work on. So th that's just some of the projects I put together. I'm in visualization. Um, I work with several different um, uh, groups across the, the, the company, and I support those different groups. Um, and it's, it's all a part of our, our holistic approach to design, um, designing these buildings, these structures. Um, so 
what I do is I, I work with the, um, the civil engineers, with the acoustic engineers and the lighting engineers, and they're all working in their own um, uh, software for modeling simulations, uh, doing calculations and analysis on these buildings. Um, I take all that information, uh, bring it all together, um, and uh, present it to the client. Uh, they use these to be presented to the client um, or to win new projects or um, uh, to be able to collaborate with contractors on site, uh, on the construction site during the construction sequence, the construction phasing part. Um, so this project is the Young San uh, Harmony Tower. It's designed by Daniel Liebskin. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's part of the, the Young San uh, business district development in Korea. Um, and up here you, s you have all of the different disciplines that have uh, put um, studies on, on, on this particular building. Um, and I'm going to jump into a real-time application. So traditionally, you know, you, we present, we've presented projects in the past using still renderings or walkthrough animations. Um, but this is another way we're, we're presenting projects uh, currently is through um, interactive game platforms. Um, but this platform lets us combine all of the different studies that were done. Uh, the mechanical systems up on the ceiling there, this is a typical floor uh, office space. Um, but we're also able to load in all of the different comfort analysis stuff that were done by the, by the engineers using this tool. Um, all of the, uh, the sun studies that were done by the, the lighting engineers. Um, here's a, a ventilation model showing how wind flows through, air flows through the building. Then this uh, uh, winter garden space, and then there's also how it flows through the, the office space. Uh, we have fire engineers that, that study how fire um, and smoke fills up spaces and uh, combine that with the ventilation and, and in a few moments you'll see how it vents, the smoke vents out of the room. Um, here is the, the studies uh, on daylight factor, uh, how sun hits the, the space and how much energy this space gets. Um, over here, we're also able to interactively walk through the model um, to check out different sight, sight lines and explore just every single corner of this, of this building. So the lighting engineers do their studies in radiance. Um, so all of the radiance calculations, sun studies and shadows are, were um, also embedded in this interactive 3D model um, in June. And in March, how the sun comes into the winter garden, the winter garden space. And the idea is to be able to hook all of this up to our sound lab. We have a, a, a room in our office that has um, 24 uh, loudspeaker arrayed. Um, and we're able to simulate how uh, spaces sound like while you're interactively moving through the space. And it all happens in real time. Here's uh, some of the, the mechanical um, systems on the ceiling you see and on the radiant floors. And also uh, the facade, breakdown of the facade.
So based off of these studies, we're able to switch off different kinds of um, thicknesses of the facade. We're, we're able to hear how out the outdoors sound from the inside based on the different thicknesses. Um, and so that's so we put this all together using um, the Unity platform. We've used several platforms in the past, but we found that Unity has been uh, the best one so far, just to be able to integrate all of our different file formats and stuff into the, into uh, one pipeline. And eventually, uh, we've also we've also used uh, Vuforia plugin to um, to export out to to augmented reality from this. Um, we've used other platforms as well to uh, to export out to uh, augmented reality. Um, this is how we're using uh, uh, iPads on site. Um, we load up our, our models onto onto the iPads. So instead of taking construction drawings on site, we're able to call up all of that information, all the CAD files, all of the 3D models, um, and be able to uh, stand there with the contractor. Um, see where where we are in the construction phase. If there's anything wrong, we're able to annotate, um, do all the inspection on site, and be able to save that all on the iPad, which connects back to our, our computers back in the office. Um, this is another project we're working on. It's the Fulton Street Transit Center. It's a block away from the World Trade Center site. It's a transit hub that connects 11 different train lines existing train lines together. Um, and it's also, we're also restoring the, build, the building on the right over here, the Corbin building. It's a historical 100-year-old building um, being restored. And, and uh, I've been part of this project for the past seven years or so, and it's finally coming together. I'm really excited about it. And um, here is how we've augmented it. So over here I have a site plan of the of the of the of the site, we have Broadway going down here, Fulton Street over here, and when you put up your camera to it, uh, we have all of the different um, models that were done from transport planning models, traffic uh, to the Corbin Building on the right there, and the the Fulton Street Transit Center building over here in the middle. We're able to you know, view it from all different angles and also check out uh, the interior as well. Um, so that's, there's a cable net structure that's being installed. Um, so the lighting uh, designers studied this space and were able to bring daylight um, two levels underground uh, to, to light up the, the train station. So when you get out of the train, you see light, you intrinsically want to, you know, follow the light and to head outside, so it's a wayfinding um, tool in, in that case. So um, this is just uh, one uh, application that we're using to present projects. Um, So about a week ago, and uh, ultimately, what I want to do is be able to have this um, ability to be able to grab 3D models, to be able to load up 3D models or any kind of information on site for the contractor, for the contractors, for our engineers, um, so they could access all that information, you know, through. Uh, through the wearable, wearable eyeglasses, um, we're partnering. We're partnering up with uh, with Meta to uh, to make this happen in the future, and this is where you know this is where I'd like to see it go. Um, have you all seen the Kickstarter video for Meta? Okay, and uh, Steve Mann gave a really great presentation on that earlier today. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I'm all about and you know, I'm excited about the future. Thank you.